Hey everybody, so we are going to make our own gin from the Do Your Gin kit. There's nothing on the box. <laughs> this is gonna be super cool and super fun, so let's get into it. So this is the Do Your Gin kit. So let's talk about Do Your Gin for a moment and Nina's is gonna help us. So this kit you can get at doyourgin.com and if you use our code HALOS5, you'll get 5% off, which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and show you everything that comes in the box and then kind of explain a little bit more about Do Your Gin and a little bit what's going on and what we're going to do. Pretty much gin is just infused vodka. <laughs> So here's the kit and let's answer some questions real quick. So how much does one kit make? It'll make three 12 ounce bottles of gin and obviously then you can order more botanicals. So how long does it take to make the gin? The least amount of time is 24 hours. You put the vodka in with the juniper berry. They say that you should let that infuse for 24 hours and then you should add your flavorings for an additional 12 hours. But you could do it all in 24 hours if you wanted to. Alcohol does not come with a kit. You have to purchase your own vodka. This time we're gonna use the same vodka for two different flavors, but what we'd like to do in the future is to get some more of the juniper berry and then try different levels of vodka to see if like a less expensive vodka makes a huge difference than a really expensive bottle of vodka. Here we go. You get two do your gin bottles. You get one funnel. funnel. <laughs> two filters. You get a cool little postcard that has some drink recipes on it. It has Bramble, Gin Fizz, French 75, and Vesper. You get the instruction card, which also tells you all the spices, and it also has recipes on here for different flavored gins, if you don't want to just experiment on your own and try something that they suggest. Let's check out the botanicals. <laughs> you have three juniper berries. That's for your three separate bottles. You'll use a full test tube of juniper berry per 12 ounce bottle of gin. Hibiscus flowers, coriander seeds, pink pepper, lavender flowers, licorice, orange peel, green cardamom, laurel. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna slaughter this name. I'm gonna call it Kubeb. I could just use Google and it would tell me how to say it, but I'd rather make a fool out of myself. So, so now we're actually going to make two bottles of gin. So I'm gonna read the instructions just so it's on the video to give you more of an idea of exactly what they suggest to do. The basis for your gin is a neutral alcohol. We advise that you use a good vodka because vodka is made from wheat as well as the alcohol in conventional gin production. The most important and characteristic ingredient in your gin is a juniper berry. Infuse your gin base with it for at least one day. This process is called macerating, which is cold infusion of the substances into a liquid. If you crush the berries and seeds before use, they will release their oily aroma easier into the alcohol. After 24 hours, you can give your gin your individual touch. In this step, you add your choice of botanicals to your gin, macerate for another 24 hours, and then strain the spices from your gin. Of course, you can try it now. In order for the gin <laughs> to develop its full flavor, we recommend that you put it in the fridge for at least 12 more hours. Because your gin is not distilled, it retains its characteristic color. So it'll actually take the color on of your botanicals. It won't be clear. Even though we said in the beginning that the least amount of time you need is 24 hours, it really seems like you should do at least 48. And I figure if you're gonna buy the kit and do it, you might as well. Right. If you need gin that badly, just go buy a bottle of gin. So I personally um, like my gin a little less juniper berry than most people do, I think. So obviously- So I'm you gonna, might not squish your berries? I'm not gonna squish my berries. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it in whole. And maybe at a later date when we try this again, I might even try doing less juniper berry than they recommend after I see how the first one goes. And I also don't really like peppery things. I prefer sweet. So I'm leaning towards using the hibiscus and the orange peel and possibly the lavender. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna go with the pepper and the laurel. Oh, you know, I don't know what laurel is. It's a leaf. It's actually a tree. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a whole tree in there. <laughs> So today we're just gonna go ahead and put the vodka. We actually bought new Amsterdam vodka, which we're not a huge fan of, but it's kind of it's, middle of the road, lower end. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll put the juniper berries in here. We're gonna wait the 24 hours. Then we'll go ahead and show you us putting the rest of the botanicals in. We'll wait another 24 hours and then we'll do a taste test and see how it goes.
Hi, we're back. It's been 24 hours and my gin is looking a little yellowish, but not much, not compared to Neil's. Yeah, because remember I crushed my berries <laughs> my new juniper berry so this is what it, mine looks like mm -hmm. 24 hours later right and so now i am going to add a couple pods of green cardamom to mine and you are going to add i am going to add a um, half a teaspoon of orange peel and a whole teaspoon of the hibiscus and then we will wait another 24 hours mm -hmm. and then we'll be back and we'll strain it and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for a while and then we'll taste it so uh, let's add our stuff. So today's the day we get to try it. We did filter it. We used their little paper filter and uh, everything filtered out really nice. As you can see, this is the one that I made. It was in the refrigerator for a while, so uh, looking forward to tasting it. I did want to point out first that on the back of the bottle, on the label, you can mark what botanicals you put in and if you put your own botanicals in and the date you made the gin. So, pretty cool. Didn't notice that when we unpacked it, so. All right, you have anything you want to say before we get started? Um, no, I'm looking forward to it, so let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice sound. Hmm. Mine doesn't smell as strong as it did. Mine kind of smells like a florally, a florally, say that word. Florally? That's the one. Mm. Um, liquor. <laughs> oh, I can smell the juniper in yours for sure. You can't smell it in mine though. Mm -mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to try Annalise's first and then we're going to try mine because I think mine is going to be a little bit stronger. So that way we can actually both taste right. them. Cheers. <laughs> That's good. Not very ginny, not very juniper berry, but it's good. But it also just doesn't taste like flavored vodka. It tastes like it's a type of gin. Yeah, I totally agree. It base it tastes like a superly, superly, what, just to make up words, super light flavored gin. And you can taste a hint of the juniper, because again, I didn't crush mm -hmm. mine, so I just put the berries in. And you can taste a hint of uh, the hibiscus and the orange. But again, it's... I can taste the, the orange is like on the back end. Like right. it, uh, the aftertaste, it's right. really good. It's really good, it's very light. Like, yeah. it's something that you could probably um, drink straight. I really like it. To be honest. I'm gonna finish this one and get to the next one. Okay, so after tasting that, um, I really wanna try it with a couple of things. Like I think maybe with some tonic and like a slice of orange in there would be amazing. Like I think that would be like the perfect kind of refreshing cocktail. Let's get on to this one. I was gonna say what's in it, but you just watch the video so you know. I do appreciate that he gave me a lighter pour in this one because he his is a lot more juniper berry-ish than mine and I don't actually care for all the juniperness necessarily. So let's find out. Mine smells like a pine tree. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it sure does. It's not nearly as strong as I thought it was going to be. It's really good. Oh, that... The cardamom is really in there. It's that, good. That is It's not juniper berry. more smooth than I thought it yeah. would be. Yeah. Yours is very good. Mine is more smooth than yours. Yeah. Yours, yeah, yours is more, I think, yeah. So interestingly enough, this, is really this good. tastes like a really nice high end gin. This is. You've done very well. Good job, This sir. company's amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> so it is, it actually has a smoother drink and finish to mine. I think I'd do a, like a really dry martini with this. Yeah. Oh, we're getting more <laughs> of these. I'm telling you right now. Oh my gosh, or, yeah. As I, and like, um, I, don't particularly like the juniper berry-ishness, but this is good. You've done very well. Son of a cow, these are good. You we guys, did good. You guys. You anyway, you gotta, you do gotta your try gen, go to doyourgen.com <laughs> and you can use our coupon code HALOS5 and you'll get 5% off. I think this would be like a great gift. Oh yeah. These are a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Just gonna have to get some more juniper berry. We are. And That's we still have the, the other uh, botanicals, so now we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we'll we're try. gonna try some stuff. We're gonna try some, some different things, oh, yeah. and then like we'll link in this yeah. video to the short other little videos we make, or maybe just do a do your gin playlist or something. Oh yeah, maybe, but anyway, uh, Thanks so much for checking it out. Again, yeah. doyourgin.com. Uh, we'll have a link below too, and we'll also have our coupon code HALOS5, but. This is awesome. Yeah, if not for yourself, for a gift. I know, right? Very cool. Cheers. All right, everybody, thank you. <laughs>